Welcome to Sunday School. We hope you have a great time with us this morning. Hello everyone and welcome to Sunday's Call. It is great to have you with us this morning. My name's David and we'll be, this is our last episode of our series on the book of Daniel. Now, if you haven't seen the first two episodes in this mini series, then I would encourage you to go and watch them. But today we are going to be watching a short clip about the final story of Daniel and his friends. And they are on a very important mission with God to help someone very, very important. So we'll watch a clip now and then we'll unpack the story in just a minute. See you in a sec. Slapstick Theater Daniel and Nebuchadnezzar's Dream This is Daniel oh, hey. who was a Jewish man who was taken to Babylon when he was very young. Daniel served in the king's service as a wise man. Yeah. The king of Babylon was a man named Nebuchadnezzar. And one night, he had such a disturbing dream that he couldn't sleep. Ah! He called in some of the wise men of his kingdom and demanded that they tell him what he had dreamed. The wise men said, tell us the dream and we will tell you what it means. But the king told them that they must tell him what the dream was and what it meant. If they did, they would be rewarded. But if they didn't, they would be severely punished. Uh... The wise men asked again for the king to tell them what the dream was, and they would tell him what it meant. No. But the king wanted them to tell him what the dream was. The wise men said that the king's request was impossible, and that no one except the gods can tell someone a dream. The king was furious when he heard this, and ordered that all the wise men of Babylon be killed. Ah! Because of the king's decree, men were sent to find and kill Daniel and his friends. When the men arrived, Daniel asked why the king had ordered such a thing. The men told Daniel what happened with the king's dream, and Daniel went at once to the king to ask for time to tell the king what his dream meant. Hmm, fine. Then Daniel told his friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, to pray to God to show them the secret of the king's dream. That night, God showed Daniel the secret of the dream in a vision. Daniel praised God for this and then was taken to the king. Come on! Daniel said, There are no wise men, enchanters, magicians, or fortune tellers who can reveal the king's secret. But there is a God in heaven who reveals secrets, and he has shown King Nebuchadnezzar what will happen in the future. Now I will tell you your dream and the visions you saw as you lay on your bed. And so Daniel told the king what his dream was and what it meant. The king bowed before Daniel and praised him. The king said to Daniel, Truly, your God is the greatest of gods, a revealer of mysteries, for you have been able to reveal this secret. Then the king promoted Daniel to be the chief of all the wise men, and also promoted his friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, in the king's court. What an amazing story. Isn't it exciting to hear all about how God has been helping people all throughout history and is still helping people today? You know, Daniel and his friends were faced with a seemingly impossible situation. They were scared. They were probably a bit confused. They didn't know what was going to happen. But with the help of God, they managed to together work as a team to answer the king's question and interpret his dream. Now that is a crazy thing to do. I don't know if you've ever had some weird and wacky dreams, but I know I have. And to find meaning out of that and to trust God that he was going to tell you something is amazing. But it 
was really, really frightening for them. It was a confusing situation, but God managed to work a way through them. He turned the seemingly impossible into something possible because they trusted him and worked together. And you know, the world at the moment is a little bit scary. It's a little bit confusing. We don't quite know what's going to happen. But there's two really important lessons we can learn from our story today. The first one is that Daniel wasn't afraid to ask for help. When there was a challenge put to him, when the situation was seemingly impossible, he didn't try and face it on his own or worry about it or get frightened on his own. He went to people he trusted and shared it with them. And we can do that too. We can go to our friends or our parents or our guardians or whoever we live with. We can go to our teachers because they're there to help us. We're not in this on our own and we can ask those big questions when the world seems scary. And the second really important situation is that God is able to do make something out of the seemingly impossible situations. And I think that's still true today. Look, there's an impossible situation going on in the world. When we look at it, it's really scary and confusing, or it can look that way. But when we trust God and we work with him, together with the people around us, the, the situation can change. We're able to do amazing things when we work together with God and trust him. So there are really two important things to take away from today. That God, with God, nothing is impossible. And as a team, as friends, as family, we can work together to get through it. Isn't that exciting? I think the best way to celebrate that exciting news is to sing God a song. So we're going to sing a song together now. Are you ready? Let's go. the most enormous boats, kept the birds and animals afloat. The Lord was good, the Lord was strong, and Noah lived his life with him. Noah set the people through the sea, taking them away from slavery. When it comes to 
comes to me, when it comes to me, when it comes to me. That was amazing singing, guys. I really, really enjoyed doing that with you. That was fantastic. Now, I thought just before we run out of time today, I would set you a challenge, a crafty challenge this week. In the description below, there is a link to a flag, the Ukrainian flag. And I thought it would be brilliant to spend some time thinking about uh, the country of Ukraine and all the hard things that are going on there after we heard the amazing things that God can do. He can turn the impossible situation, the really hard things, into something that's good and amazing and he can change situations with our help. He wants to do it with us. So I thought we could make something really beautiful out of the Ukrainian flag. You can decorate it however you like, with things you love, with things that you think they might need, or even write little prayers on there. And we want to get a big collection of your drawings on the Ukrainian flags. Decorate them however you like, and we're gonna take all the pictures that you send in to us and make a big collage out of them. I think that'd be a really, really lovely thing to do, to show that we are they're supporting the people of Ukraine. What a lovely thing to do, to share the, uh, our friendship with them, to show we're in it together and to show that God can turn that situation around if we ask him for his help and trust him. So that is in the description below. You can find the picture there, print it off and decorate it however you like and send that back to us through our social media pages and they'll be in the description below as well. That's all we've got time for this week, but I really hope you've enjoyed our series on Daniel. And we are going to be looking forward now, going into the other half of the Bible, the New Testament, to look at the Easter story and the build up to that soon. Some really, really exciting Sunday calls coming up for you, and I can't wait to see you there. So I hope you have a really, really good week, and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.